Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of June. So this is for June. This hasn't been recorded in June, so you're probably going to watch it before June. A lot of you are. This reading is for June. So it's for June. Get it? It's for June. And a lot of people are like, oh no, this is old energy. No, it's not old energy. This is something that is coming in June. A lot of people, you know, say they repeat their mistakes, right? They repeat over and over and over again. But they don't want to admit it. So, let's see what's coming in for June. Hopefully you're not going to be repeating a mistake. Let's, ooh, wow, we're going to have to take those. You see what just happened? They just flipped right over. we got to take them. Looks like you guys are going to get two. You're going to get two. So, we are going to get a couple of different holders here. What do we have for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June? So those flipped right over. When that happens, you got to take them. So we got trust and passion. This situation is calling for you to have faith. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. And it's funny because before I started this reading, I thought this is going to be good. I thought it, that's the way I felt. That's the way I felt it. I felt like, oh, this is going to be good. Trust. So this, this, this situation is calling for you to have faith. There's obviously a very passionate connection here that is going to make you very, very, very happy. You may not trust it. You may not trust it. You may not believe it. You may not believe it. It may be, it seems like it's too good to be true. Okay. This is June. June. What do we have for Pisces? Looks really good, doesn't it? You're going to need to have faith though, right? Right? There we go. We got that. Oh, good. Boy, things are just falling right into place for you. That's what this is too. That is exactly what this is. Key, success. Successful outcome to your problems. So you got a successful outcome. Ladder. Climbing to success. Ooh, jug. Lighthearted, carefree time. It looks really good. I think June, things are going to change for the better. Things are going to change for the better. You're going to have some some sort of success. You're climbing the ladder. You may have been stressed out over this whole situation that we're going through right now. But things are looking up. Okay? Lighthearted, carefree time. Things are about to get way, way, way better. In June... Okay, in June. So you are climbing the ladder to success, not only probably in your business or your job, but in your love life. Okay? Things are looking good. You're climbing a ladder and it, I mean, you're, you're going up. Put it that way. You're going up. So what do we have for Pisces? Passionate love. And I see that, say that because I see fire. So when you see fire, fire is about passion. So I think there is going to be a passionate love situation that is growing. It's, it's growing more and more and more and more. Um, three of Pentacles. Now this is, is uh, you are very skilled, working together, teamwork, um, companionship, compromise, communication. Whoever you're working with, you're going to be working with them very well. There's a lot of teamwork. It's easy to work with these people. That somebody may be teaching you something or giving you the giving you the uh, plans and you're and you're doing it. You know, you may be um it's like you're you got a new plan here and it's following through with the new plan, which is interesting. So what do we have for Pisces? Ooh, seven of pentacles reverse now. This is dissatisfaction, unrealistic. There's no growth in a certain situation. Need to do something else. Coming up with a new plan. So now we're working towards the future. So maybe right now, right now, okay, where you're watching this right now, you're coming up with a new plan. You're coming up with a new, uh, well, it's a new plan, a new goal, setting, uh, getting creative. Coming up with a new vision, perhaps planting your seeds, some starting something new right now, right now, whatever you start right now, 
is going to grow. It is definitely going to grow and it's going to bring you some sort of um, prosperity per se. Okay, it's going to. It is. These are both pentacles. Make sure that you are doing it and make sure you have some faith here. So this is coming. I see the plans right here. You're coming up with a new plan. Okay, that's what's happening. I think it's happening right now. Right now, you may be feeling a little down. You're feeling down. You're feeling like things aren't going to happen. You need to have faith, okay? Follow through with this new plan that you're coming up with. It's going to be successful. It is. It is going to be successful. Okay, so don't, don't give up. Don't give up. It's definitely going to be successful. So it looks to me as though you're planting seeds someplace else. You're starting something new. You may be feeling a little distrustful. You may be, be feeling a little like, oh my God, what if this doesn't work? You know, don't let that fear get in your way. Oh, the star reverse, lack of hope. Why is this happening? And I feel like this is where you're at right now. Why is this happening to me? I'm losing money. I'm I'm losing my business or I'm losing losing something. I don't have any money to survive or this is a loss of money right here. But things are going to work out. So you may be feeling hopeless. You may be feeling hopeless. I think that you're trying really hard to make something work and you're probably feeling like this is a dead end. I'm going down. I'm going down. I don't think you're going down. I think by June you're going to be going back up. Okay? By June, you're going back up. Right now, you're in a ho you're feeling hopeless. Like right? you're having a lot of doubts. You need to let go of those doubts because by June, you're going to be in a different place. Okay, you're not going to be in the same predicament. Eight of Cups reverse. Things are going to come back around. That's the meaning of the Eight of Cups reverse. Yeah, right now you're disappointed. You're losing. You're losing money. You're losing whatever. Financial gain or whatever. But things are going to come back around. That's the Eight of Cups reverse. Things coming back around. Okay? Things are coming back around. All right? Three of Cups reverse has something to do with um, somebody maybe drinking. It could have something to do with, you know, too much alcohol or something to do with alcohol here, socializing. You know, I feel like there's, um, I don't know if you, some of you are dealing with a third party situation, perhaps this for some of you. I mean, I have to, I have to tell you that there's, there's a level of, with these two cards right here, there's emotional disappointment. There's emotional disappointment, feeling like, um... A lack of you may be under a lot of social pressure as well there's a lack of socializing people can't socialize you know so I think that may be bringing you down you're stuck you know you're in a hopeless situation you can't mingle you can't get out there uh, feeling very emotionally disappointed now this these are both lack of emotional growth both of them this party is over there's no there's it's like and you're feeling that way hopeless about the party is over there's no more partying there's no more socializing there's no more having any fun this isn't fun anymore it's not fun anymore, but we're talking about June. So right now, I feel like, I'm, I mean, let's see what we got here. Uh, Three of Cups reverse is parting ways as well. Parting ways with friends. Um, there's a lot of competitiveness. You may be dealing with some strong competition. You know, everybody wants the job. Everybody wants the business. And it's like you can't do anything about it. So I feel like you're, you're in a situation. And, I, and we're talking about June, but it feels like... I'm having problems right now. Ooh, two of cups. But your love life is probably ascending. Your love life is... You may be You may be having um, a good connection with a, with a partner. Now, this is a new partnership. Maybe you're going to be partnering up with somebody new and parting ways with somebody that you are not uh, compatible with. Because this is parting ways. It is. And this is a new partnership or, 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 yeah, it's a union, a very compatible union. Somebody may be coming back around and I don't know if it's a person or it's your job because we have money, but we also have love here as well. Be something is coming back with the eight of cups reverse. Something that has ended is coming back around. But the Eight of Cups reversed is also um, a wild goose chase. It's shallow, superficial energy. There could be an apology that is coming. Maybe you're going to apologize. Or somebody's going to apologize to you. 
This is a I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, it could be... Now, the apology doesn't have to be from a love. It could be from friends. You, your friends could be saying, I'm sorry. For, could be saying, I'm sorry for your loss. Now, I don't know if you're losing money and people are saying, I'm so sorry this is happening to you. Why is this happening? Why, why, why? Something may be happening and your, and your friends are trying to support you and you're feeling really down or something like that. You definitely have somebody that wants to work with you, somebody that can help you. They can help you. Maybe there's going to be a relocation. Maybe you need to relocate because of the seven of pentacles. Maybe you need to relocate to some place where there's more um, opportunity. It feels like where you're at, there's a lot of competition, or there, or you know, maybe there's just no more growth there. There's no, and you need to go where there's more um, people. You know. Where there's less competition, it feels like wherever you're at, you, it's like there's no more growth. It's a dead end. Okay, this is a dead end. And maybe you, you're feeling down about that and it's time to work with somebody else. Time to go someplace else. That's what it feels like to me. Um, where you're at, there's just, there's not a lot of support. It feels like there's not a support, a lot of support. And you may have people that, you may be dealing with people around you that don't really like you or they don't support you. They're friends, but they're not. These are, these are enemies disguised as friends, the three of cups reverse. It feels like you've got some people that are, you know, holding you back. You know, they're not really your friends. You may be, you may have been thinking about walking away or thinking about leaving these people for a while, you know, and feeling really hopeless, but in, in, now you decide to do so because I feel like there's a lot of thinking here. Um, the Two of Cups is a union, though it's a partnership. It's 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 a um, potential partnership that could be very harmonious. Okay, this is an attraction, a connection, um, a mutual respect with somebody. So working together, you're going to be working together with somebody. There's a partnership here. Hmm. Wheel of Fortune, so this is a change, a positive change. You may not see it as a positive change. That's why you need to have faith and trust, okay? You need to have faith and trust because I feel like you don't not seeing this as a positive change. You're seeing this as a big, huge loss. You're seeing this as, why, does, why is this happening to me? I can't believe this is happening to me. Now, this is a card of karma, and this is a card of destiny and fate. So everything changes. Life is always changing. Things are always in motion. But this is positive. So for some of you, okay, this is a positive life change. This is one cycle of your life coming to, to an end and another one beginning. Now this is fate and this is a union. You may find yourself at the right place at the right time and come together with somebody that you did not expect. You know, you may. You may. So say you're in a situation now that isn't very happy because it doesn't look good over here. Okay, I have to be honest with you. There's no growth. It's unrealistic. There's dissatisfaction. Um, it's hopeless. There's there's no... Uh, well, there's, there's some sort of depression here, you know, and it's wanting to leave. I think somebody's been wanting to leave this sad situation for a while, whether it's a love relationship or a job. And it, it, there's, it really feels like doubtful here. But there's a new opportunity here that is that has happened suddenly or it's going to happen suddenly. This is being at the right place at the right time and coming together that, with somebody that is absolutely perfect for you. This is a perfect match. This is your mirror. You notice that it looks like a mirror. This is somebody, a soulmate. Okay, destiny, soulmate. So this is like a soulmate. So you may be suddenly coming together with a soulmate. This may happen. You know, you find yourself at the right place at the right time. Okay, and you know, it's destined. It's destined. So that's that could certainly be the case. Um, it feels like it could be too good to be, be true. You're, you're definitely going to need to have some faith and trust in regards to whatever is happening. I feel like for some of you, your, your money, your financial situation is going downhill fast. Okay, and you're probably feeling hopeless. And you've got some people in your corner that are not really in your corner. Okay, these people aren't in your corner when it, no, mm -mm. no, no, you're not. And I feel like you probably do know that, but you probably need them for some reason or who knows what it is. Um, but the judgment reverse, that's that's a poor judgment call. Some bad karma. Okay. So judgment reversed is bad karma. So it's um, moving on from that bad choice, feeling depressed, ill health, a lot of doubt. We do have a lot of doubt and shame here. 
So I'm not so sure who is who is is feeling doubtful or feeling ashamed or feeling like they made a poor judgment call or there's this could be bad karma. Somebody is getting bad karma. I don't know who it is, but somebody didn't answer the higher call. Somebody didn't make the right decision, uh, and now they need to move on from that bad choice. So now the judgment reverse is being subject to trial. Okay, so somebody may be, you know, going to court. Okay, somebody, you know, you think about this. I mean, somebody, I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I'm not sure if somebody's being taken to court. They could be being sued. I mean, who knows? Who knows? But the judgment card reverse is a bad choice. Somebody didn't do the right thing. They didn't make the right decision. They lied. They didn't tell the truth. Um, they made, they made a bad choice. Now they're, they're experiencing some sort of bad luck or bad karma, but but with the Wheel of Fortune upright, that is a change and it's a positive change. It's a positive change. It's good fortune. It's good luck. So there is something very positive coming in. It's a new partnership. It's a new union. And this partnership doesn't have to be a love partnership. It could be a new job or partnership, partnering up with somebody else. But it could be a love thing. But this is a new partnership and it's very positive and it's going to bring you something good. It's destined. It's meant to happen. But... With this judgment card, somebody hasn't been telling the truth. They didn't make the right decision. They didn't do the right thing. And now there's being held accountable. The judgment is being held accountable for your actions. So somebody is going to be held accountable for uh, not telling the truth or not doing the right thing or making a poor judgment call, doing the wrong thing. So somebody is going to be held accountable for doing so. I feel like this is, I mean, you could be dealing with a group of, of, of women uh, or people that are nasty, okay? They're nasty women. They're nasty people. Um, and I feel like uh, you need to, you probably need to, you need to part ways from these people and you probably have been reluctant to do so. Um, that's what it looks like to me. Um, unable to release, unable to move on, um, fearful, feeling ashamed and guilty. Judgment reversed is guilty, you know, being found guilty. Somebody may be found guilty and maybe they're being found guilty for cheating. I mean, because this could symbolize cheating. It doesn't have to be you. It could be somebody that you know. Um, but judgment reversed is bad karma due to an injustice. Somebody didn't do the right thing. Now they're losing, you know, they're losing financial that's why this is why 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 the star card why is this happening because somebody didn't make the right judgment call they didn't do the right thing karma never loses an address but there's a reason for this because you got something better i'm telling you what the wheel of fortune is something wonderful being at the right place at the right time coming together with somebody that is a perfect uh partner Put it that way. This is a perfect partner. This is life changing. It's fate. It's meant to be. Um, lies being exposed. That's exposure. That's exposure. Opening up. Letting your guard down. Having faith and trust. Yeah. I feel like you're going to need to have faith and trust that whatever is happening is happening for a reason. Um, you need to... Uh, I, I think this is overwhelming anxiety. You may be overly uh, anxious about this change that is happening. You may be fearful. They're obviously, I believe that it, that's why the situation is calling for you to have faith. Because you're fearful. Um, you'd rather just um, stay put. But I think that there's no choice but for you to accept. Um, things, it may be too much. This may be overload for you. I feel like you may be suffering in some sort of emotional turmoil over these changes that are happening. You may have some sort of, you may be feeling cold or feeling guarded because this is just, this, this change that is happening is too much. I think it's too much. Um, but you think about the Wheel of Fortune, what's at the end of that fortune? It's fortune. So fortune is, is positive. So you're going to get something very fortunate from this loss over here. Seven of Wands reverse. That is overwhelmed. I knew you, somebody was overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. You're going to be feeling overwhelmed. Um, fall. Somebody's uh, Seven of Wands reversed is a fall from power. It's feeling powerless. 
It's out of your control. It's destiny. Whatever is happening is out of your control. You can't control it. This is destiny. So this is this is unable to control it. So you are going to be coming together with somebody, working with somebody that you are meant to work with, and it's destined to happen. And you are not going to be able to control or block it from happening. So Pisces, uh, wow, Ten of Pentacles, some of you may be moving, uh, okay, the home, there could be a change in the home, change in the circumstances, financial success will come, it will come, I feel like, um, For some of you, you may be starting a family, you may be moving, you may be getting married, you may be meeting your, meeting somebody that you're going to have a long-term relationship with. Um, I feel like there's a change in the legacy, there's a change in the family dynamics. This is a 10, it's a completion, it's the end of a situation where in your home, so there's a change in your home. I feel like there's, a, there's an end of a cycle in your home life, at home, where you live, relocation. Or your job, you may be working someplace else, going someplace else. I think there's a change in partners here. Whatever's happening, you are climbing the ladder to success. You will be abundant. You will be abundant. You will have plenty. You will be very comfortable. You may be fearful that you're losing money, that you're going to be unstable. I think that's fear. I think you may be going through a period where change is needed. You may have been resisting change. Karma may be playing a part. But in the end, you're going to come out fortunate and you're going to be comfortable and you're going to be stable and you're going to have plenty of money so you don't have to worry about it. But I do feel like there is uh, some people in your vicinity that probably are very close by. They may live close by or... You deal with them quite a bit that um, are not on your side. They're the three of cups reversed. They're not your friends. I think that you know what you may have been in denial. Okay, you may have been denial. You may have been choosing not to see it or whatever. I think something is going to happen where, you know, you start to see it. You see it. You see it for what it is. Something gets exposed. Some sort of truth comes out about this whole set, these people or this person. And you have, you really have no choice. Destiny is playing a part here, but to, uh, admit your defeat or surrender or walk away or what, or what it is, is walking away and walking right into something else as well. So I think that you are about to, um, come together with a perfect partner but this happens after some sort of significant um truth or judgment or ending with this with this judgment card there's something that happens that reveals this is like a reveals it reveals uh who is on your side? Who isn't? Uh, who is meant to be in your life? Who isn't? It's like a, it's like a huge shift. It is a huge shift, and it's like you just. Uh, I think there's an ending here. Okay, tens are endings. It's an ending, and and it's a very prominent one with the judgment card. Okay, and it has to do with a money situation, a financial. It's like it's something all of a sudden. It's like you can't change it. You have no choice but to focus on the future. This has all happened for a reason. They're bringing somebody into your life very suddenly as well. It's sudden. It is. It's like, it's almost like serendipity. You know what I mean? Almost like serendipity. It happens out of the blue. Um, and, you, it, and it just helps you to uh, release whatever it is that you have been holding on to. So yeah, Pisces, I feel as though you're going to be stable. You are climbing towards success. Right now, you may feel, right now, you may feel like, why is this happening? It's all happening for a reason. I think this new plan that you're coming up with, whatever it is, is going to bring you a lot of comfort. Good luck.